Uh, Len Bick, good morning. I'm sure you're, you're ready to launch a staunch defensive of your mate. Go for it. Well, first of all, uh, I applaud your eloquence, and I'm sure many viewers will agree with it. I haven't finished reading the book. I actually got a copy last night. saw him for the first time last night, in fact. Um, I just have a slightly different view to this. Uh, while I do feel they were guessing a lot of the time, I'm not sure other people would have done better. Uh, and to that extent, it's hardly surprising that a biography, essentially, a set of diaries written by Matt Hancock with help from Isabel uh, Oakeshott, who's a very good writer, by the way, uh, is going to put it their way. Um, so I'm not going to slam you for what you said. I just think it's worth reading this to get a bit more balance. And well, you might argue that he was uh, like the Will character in between us, and I applaud the analogy. In reality, nobody had been in this position before, not in modern times. You'd have to go back to the Spanish flu or the Great Plague of 1665. <laughs> but you know experience. what, Limbit? You know what? We had a pandemic preparedness plan. It had been fine-tuned over decades for this exact eventuality, and they just ripped it up and said, what we're going to do instead is we're going to quarantine the healthy. And I'm sorry, but they have never justified that. And this book should have more of an explanation, a bit less of Matt Hancock mills and booning his own story, and more Matt Hancock explaining the logic, because that's what we've never had. First of all, it is very readable, uh, and it is a bit of a page turner because it's written as a diary. Now, I think to do what you've just described, Matt Hancock would have had to rewrite his diary, ret diary retrospectively. I think what you do see is a lot of guesswork in government. Is Matt responsible for that? Well, he has to take responsibility in, in the same sense that he has to take responsibility for the, some of the mistakes he made, quite obviously. But at the same time, I'm not sure other people could do better. I would also agree with your inference. I don't think that this country was prepared for the pandemic. So much guesswork. I now remain very sceptical about the benefit of the lockdown at all. But once again, you know, what do you want from Matt? Contrition, people say he should be sitting in sackcloth and ashes at home because he killed people. He didn't deliberately kill anybody. Uh, and, and in that sense, uh, and we all know people who died, in that sense, what you see is an insight to government. Not all of it is edifying. You're right. Not all of it is edifying. But at the same time, you do see, in my view, a fairly honest analysis of the level of guesswork that was going on. And one person's attempt to do his best. Unless, of but course, you think he deliberately didn't do his best.